Wilson Moore, Indy Star. Um, Sydney, just at the end there, as you're walking up your back in your home state, getting the standing ovation, what was going through your mind there? Um, I'm back home, and I was just really happy. I mean, we did that without Grace Berger, which is huge for us. Um, we knew we had to play for her um, and for our state. We were really excited about this matchup coming in, and we knew we had to do something. Sydney, uh, uh, Kevin Vera, who is your network? Um, obviously, with Grace being uh, taken out, you were inserted into the starting lineup. Was there any co sort of conversation with uh, Coach Warren before the game or kind of leading up to this um, UNC game about being inserted into the starting lineup? Um, no, not exactly. There was no real conversation. Um, I just knew for myself I needed to step up, and it wasn't just me. It was the whole team. We all needed to step up in different positions. I mean, Hannah played 18 minutes tonight, and she was just in Finland last week. She wasn't even with us in Vegas. So um, it was huge for all of us to just step up and make plays. How much do you feel like, obviously the injury was not good on Grace Berger, but how much do you feel like in the future it could help you having this happen because more players are getting a chance to get in there and kind of learn what they have yeah. to do? Yeah, I mean, the only way to get experience is to play in these big games. And I think that the fact that, you know, uh, we're asking more of those people off of the bench um, and they're stepping up to the occasion is, is huge for us, um, no matter what that looks like. Uh, Todd Golden with CNHI. Uh, uh, Indiana. Mackenzie, you know, Sydney said that you guys did this without grace, and obviously we all knew that. But what was the belief uh, among you, uh, among the team, that this was within you guys, with, with or without her? Uh, what was that like before the game and as it went through the game itself? Yeah, I think that um, our coaching staff did a great job preparing us for this game. You know, our game plan. Um, we all, we all bought into the game plan that we had coming in, and we knew that if we executed that game plan, then we would come out with a win. Um, and that's exactly what happened tonight. We had everybody who stepped on the floor um, bought into what we were supposed to do, and I think that showed tonight. Griffin Gonzalez, WDRB News. Mac, I guess for you, I, I know you're close with Grace. I know it's been a tough toll on her not being able to be out there for you guys, but how's her mentality been off the court and her leadership off the court, and how has she been able to – help you guys out this week getting this big of a win? Grace didn't blink. I mean, she's as tough as nails, and I think we all know that. Um, and that's on and off the court. She knows what she needs to do um, in her rehab, and she's going to she's gonna take that head on, and we're all going to be behind her while she's doing it. And I think that um, I think that she has trust in us, and we have trust in her, um, and that goes a long way. Ari Schiffer, an assembly call. You have to... You now have two top 10 basketball teams on campus. You guys have been good for a while, but the men have joined you now. How exciting is it for the university to have not just one legitimate top 10 team on campus, but now to have two for the first time ever that are championship contenders? I mean, I think it's really exciting. Um, just seeing the growth of the men's team from when I was a freshman to now is incredible. And I know how hard those guys work, and I see them in the gym, and I've seen them buy into what Coach Woodson wants them to do. So to be able to see that payoff is huge. and. Um, you know, just continuing to grow our program alongside with them. It's, it's a really exciting time to be a Hoosier. Sydney, uh, Philip Ewell from the Associated Press. How much of the three-point shooting is Salt made by the team with all the momentum and feel? And it seemed like when you hit the eight in the first half, the team and everybody started to feed Salt. Uh, yeah, definitely. We uh, practiced a lot. I mean, coming into this year, we knew that three-point shooting was going to be big for us. Um, and I think we all just work really hard at it in practice. Um, I've been, I mean, I changed my shot this week, two days ago. Yeah, coach, coach side changed my shot, and I guess it worked for today. So. All right, we'll take the last one on Zoom. Sorry, I just noticed that. Yeah. Alexa, if you'd like to share your question. Um, I don't think it was exactly a statement. I think we just played who played how we play, and uh, we come out every game hard and really prepared from our coaching staff. Um, I mean, we just came out played hard. It's not really a statement for us. We should we should play like that every night.